ladies and gentlemen and grant community. I remain my humble self, reverse voice. I'm coming this morning to call out to category of personalities in current community and to make some explanations over the character of some group of persons in the current community. I want to first of all thank God Almighty for giving me this opportunity to learn my voice again in Grand community at a time like this. I want to thank God for all He has been doing for us in Grand community. I want to thank God for His mercy upon the lives of those that claims to be pastors, apostles, and also of title, all in the name of extorting the masses. I want to thank God for the life of Chief of Yoruba land. I want to say this way. This is my VN. I am directing it to the chief of Yoruba land, High Chief Akogo. Chief, I respect you. Some persons. I cannot say all. Respect, have so much respect for you. Chief Akogun of Yoruba land, the high chief in Grand community. I am giving this voice note direct to you. As a chief, as a philanthropist, as an activist, as a man of peace, and a nation builder. Don't let the people you came into grand community to meet as pressure group, as pastors and apostles, bishops and comrades to rob your face and your integrity in the mold. I am saying so because all this while you've been standing in the gap putting your integrity as tech to stand by standing in the gap for UAAG. I can recall vividly last year when you stepped in and addressed, pleaded with the masses to give UAAG two to three weeks. 
for disbursement to commence. And remember, before you came up, the man that acquired apostleship to himself had been lying to the masses time with that number in case you don't know i said he has been lying and i said so because in my place where i come from when you say something to person the first time the thing didn't come to pass you said the second you said the third time you said the fourth you've you are then now a liar a serial liar in my place but i stand to be corrected i know some of those people that call themselves pastors and and that claims to be a christian while they are not while they are native doctors and angels of darkness who come up and quote bible and tag me all sorts of names so that is why i said apostle ken is a serial liar he has lied in so many occasions in grand community so before one will come to react he should prove me wrong that ken is not a liar and what are those things what are the behaviors of a liar the, anybody that is coming to react maybe from the think plan uh, team or the or grand pressure group they should be able to explain to us the characteristics that makes one to be the characters that makes one to be a liar and that is that coming back to you i chief in grand community before you stepped in to solicit or to ad advise or appeal to the masses to shift ground by giving UAAG two to three weeks that they will disperse. I want to ask you, Chief, what are the evidence on ground before you took such risks? What and what have you cited with your eyes before you came out publicly? stand in the gap for UAH. Now, it is clear that if you are sick and you take, you've been taking or you take yourself to a doctor, any physicians, in consulting room. It is generally believed you should be able, being the patient, be able to answer all the questions he will ask you and tell him nothing but the truth to know, to, to enabling the job of the medical practice uh, professional to be easy enabling him the doctor to treat your sickness so that you will get you will have you are you are you 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 have your peace now what did they told you as a chief that makes you to come to the public space. I can remember and recall how many times 
you've been coming to stand for UAAG. What are those things you've been seeing? Do have you see, did they show you the money? Have they show you evidence that convinces you to come out and fold your integrity and personality aside and come to the public space to plead for UAAG? Chief. High Chief Akogu of Yoruba land. I think it is high time you reevaluate your activities with UAAG. I have my reasons why I am saying so. I have my reasons why I'm saying so. Because your integrity, your personality is at stake. You cannot have a case anywhere and consult a legal practitioner and keep lying for the legal practitioner and believe, then believe you will win the case. When you consulted a legal practitioner, there are questions. He will ask you if, possible, if necessary, there are some documents he needs to cite, then he, the legal practitioner needs to see before any other thing comes. Chief Akogu, in your own case, what are those things you've seen as evidence that makes you to keep coming down the nerves of the masses i will not say you are hyping us what are those things you see because if actually ken used to tell you the 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 way the the words and the language he has used to tell all grand pressure group that that makes those people this those young guys to mess up themselves to the point where they could not they could not condole it again they went ahead and sought out for grant for king to this boss to the masses because of shame. If you've been doing and doing that same way of all grand pressure group, meaning you 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 lost it all, you lost it all. You cannot meet with Ken without seeing, seeing without seeing some some evidence, and you come back to address the masses, chief. Hi Chief Akogo, the masses within this few period have so much respect for you. The way you present yourselves to us is how we take you. That is why I am calling on you this morning. Being Friday, it was this week you said you gave them from Monday to Friday. You address the masses in this week more than once. So as you this VN gets to you, it is expected for you to come out and explain and tell the masses what makes you to come what gives you that conviction. To be standing for your age. Otherwise, you have yourself to be blamed because you are an adult. You cannot see something and you say you are seeing something. This, this, these are some of the reasons why I am seeing the leadership of Think Tank as irrelevant, as 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 devil. How can pastors, matured men, academias, acclaimed administrators, will be coming to the public every day, every moment, every hour, telling you the grand the disbursement is at your doorpost? I mean, Obi 
I, 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 I mean a king Josiah, Jabba, Daniel. These are men, men I call them men, 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 men of high esteem, integrity. That is the integrity. Intellectuals. Not once, not twice. Obiwabo, we quote Bible. When he knows that UAS money is not with Ken, when he knows that the approach Ken is, was using to, to get money from UAS is, is not correct, but he still has the ghost coming to the public every time to call the name of God and extort money from people. Obiwa about the ten time has the gods to open a platform where he caged all the uh, uh, CEOs. He will give the CEOs names, uh, he will call them uh, uh, stakeholders, uh, uh, still uh, partners, only when they needed money from those people. And in that platform, I was told, first told me, that anytime you made points to hit them direct or to express your view as a stakeholder in an organization, they will call you to order. Meaning, they put up that structure eh, to, to, to cage uh, CEOs. NGOs honor to cage them so that they will not react because you react they will remove you or they will warn you call it to order and the question is why all these acts since you call yourself pastor you said you you see money Obiwabo said he, he has seen the money if I'm lying go back to his previous address is in the public space. Pastor Obiwango said he has seen the money, UAS money. Initially, they said UAG had money. Obiwango as a pastor said he has seen the money in UAG. Every day they will come to the public space to say enemy, to say government, to say authority. And you, Chief Akogu, with all this, has been happening, you join it and step in to 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 revenge to 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 to, to, to help and sort things out. My question to you did you or have you what have you seen? Did you see any document before you step in and before you start this joining? Because if you've not asked yourself some of this question and you don't say some of these things, it simply means you know what you are doing. At the detriment of the masses. And if, Chief, I believe you've seen something. And if actually you've seen something, it is high time for you to come out and react to exonerate yourselves from the, uh, the, the mice that must definitely come to these people. Hi, Chief Akogu of Grand Community. I mean, I want you to come out and react to these actions of UAAG and Ken. Come up and tell us what you've seen that makes you to be standing for him. To, for the masses not to begin to see you as one of those uh, think tank group or one of those that has been bought over. You cannot say, come Come, you cannot come to plead with me to calm down that my 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 case or my issue has been getting is on your table and you will treat it without hearing from the other or the, the, without seeing the whole scenario that surround my case. You cannot. 
I believe as a chief, when there's someone's persons or group of people before you, you hear from the both parties and you see the fact in it before you give your judgment. At this time, as at this point in time, it is expected you come up to tell the masses what you've seen. Otherwise, the masses will believe that you've been bought over. Now, Chief Akogo, if you don't come out to speak, you will definitely land or crash like all grand pressure group. The, the, the enjoyment or the support uh, all grand pressure group have had from the masses. No any other person, no any other groups have enjoyed such support. I know how many times we call from the masses to help them for their hotel bills, for their upkeepings. But to this point, look at we are seeing where we found ourselves. All grand pressure group with a some think tank member we are all serial liars i said it so because they have not seen the money they have refused to tell us the uag has money they refuse to tell us they are saying UAG with this boss. UAG had money. This is what all grand pressure group. They made us to believe UAG has money. Well, it is not true. If Ustaz Dawood is coming to react to this, he should also tell us the as at the time they began to say Ken Ken has the money and UAG has the money. They should tell us the the the, the donor and what keep us all the money till now. These are the works. Even works, dating jobs, all grand pressure group did connively connived with UAAG and Think Tank to cause the masses. They conspired together, all grand pressure group, Think Tank and UAAG. They, they conspired against the masses, keep extorting money from the masses without seeing any evidence of money. Initially, they said it's UAG. After much pressure, alarm, 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 uh, uh, of MFM raised alarm. It was then we later know it came to alarm like that. UAG has nothing to offer. That it was UAS money that has not been dropped anywhere. That Ken and our grand pressure group are struggling to fix in Ken's name to disburse that money. And up to today, they are yet to come out to the public space. Look at what pastors are causing us. They are yet to come up to the to come to the public space. Chief Akogu, listen to me very well. I chief, I have so much respect to you. These people are yet, those people that call themselves pastors and bishops are yet to come to the CEOs to go to that platform where, where they call them uh, esteem uh, partners. They are yet to come out to them and say, apologize that we've lied for you. They have not done that. Please forgive us. Instead of that, Obiwa Bo will come with another Obiwa Bo came with another strategy on that same platform. To be writing all sorts of nonsense in the name of keeping people busy, not to react. Saying so he's a, he's a motivational uh, writer. Or motivational writer. You are motivating people when you have not seen money anywhere. You are motivating, motivating people. Staying in the hotels, hotel just running to, uh, to, to, million, to, to millions of naira when you are not doing anything, when you have not seen any money, when you have not sought for any money. I am citing this instance, I am saying all these things to, for you to understand your stand with these people and in, 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 in the grand community. Hi, Chief Akugu. These people go knife together, lie to the masses that UAG has money. At the end of the day, it passed to UAS. Till this moment, as I speak, nowhere 
to be found. No money, no fund anywhere in their coffers. Until Joseph said, out of shame, I believe God must have touched the leadership of uh, 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 all grand pressure group. Must have, God must have touched their hearts to say, hey, we have committed so much sacrilege in the land. We joined Cain to lie and deceive the masses and extort the masses in billions. All grand pressure group, if they want to say, to say the truth, they can attest to that, that some of us, person like me, reverse voice in grand community, called the masses to assist that was when we believe that they are fighting for the masses actually but today look at where we have ourselves the masses contributed a lot give so many support to uaag but today to to all grand pressure group but today look at we are seeing we are where we are as masses the people that eat our salt, salt drink our water drink eat our pepper we shelter them today we are nothing before them they connive with apostle ken and and tintan to rob the masses but the good news is this we have the chief judge of the universe not chief judge of supreme court the highest court in the land not to, I don't mean chief judge of the Supreme Court. The chief judge of the universe, I know, is watching us. This all grand pressure group so much enjoyed the support of the masses, financially and otherwise. Today, we had out of shame, they went and sought money. God help because of the masses, God helps them. The same God touches their hearts to use gain to fast track, to, to use gain to disperse, enable this thing to be fast. But today, look at where greed fell or dragged them to. Cain is a serial liar. We know that. May God have mercy on him who come to the public to say nothing. Now all Grand Pleasure Group have joined them. Come to the public and tell us nothing. Look at today is Friday. Now Chief Akogu, ask, ask these questions. What is actually the case? That the masses, what is the actual, actual, the crime the masses committed in the hands of all grand pressure group that they cannot come up to tell us one single truth. But I know we shelter them. I know they've hit our money. The money we contributed to these parties, these two friends, they must have used it to pay one bill or the other or to cater to their family. This money will speak for us. That I know. That I know. I don't want to mention some names. I am saying all Grand Pressure Group now. You, Chief Akobu, you stepped in. What have you seen? Have you read through the history of uh, UAAG and all Grand Pressure Group? I, for one, I am seeing all Grand Pressure Group as a messiah that will help us. That is why this, that then I used to call for, for, for AP and to them. That is why we gave them their, their support. We gave, we gave them our support. But today, look at, we cannot see the gospel truth. Hear the gospel truth. From the people we sponsored. From the people we said on Aram. I said it so. Because we give them all our support. They enjoy the massive support. Financially and otherwise. But today, the masses are nowhere to be found. Many are dying. As I speak, as I speak, many are in the hospital. With this harsh economy, we find ourselves. All 
grand pleasure groom had yet to tell us the truth what is happening and what is keeping this money till today. The other day in their meeting, they said everywhere camped, everywhere camped. And knowing it to us that they are they want the atmosphere to be camped for them to actualize to perpetuate their evils. Chief Akubu, I am saying all these things because of you. Today is Friday. The meeting you are calling, you are having with them, who are who are in the meeting, that are parties to this meeting, and what are they telling you? What are the documents you've been saying? Because you cannot, you cannot get the truth, you cannot give judgment when every story they are telling you is based is is, fall, is fallacy. You cannot settle such matter. You better ignore it yourself without seeing some proofs, evidence. On the month of in the month of uh, December. I released a voice note and in that voice note I made a comment that from then from that time to April something will happen drastically in the life of these people and only maybe how I twist or how I present my speech grand community began to bombard my 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 GM began to abuse me, surrender, until I come up again to explain, to explain myself to the grand community. But today, where are we now? Today, today, where are we now? And it has not end. If adult refuse to learn or ask God for wisdom and learn from his previous learn from his all their mistakes doom is coming after some persons in grand community because i've witnessed i've witnessed people that are bitterly in, that are in pain because of this grant honestly people sold their properties I had a friend that each time the person he borrowed money from will come to his house to, to pack his load. He will call me. I used to run down there to please. There was a day I couldn't go there alone. I called a, a police friend. Please join me to settle this matter. Sometimes I will even open some voice notes and some write-ups in my phone to show them that this money is coming. This is where these people invest this money. But today, here we found ourselves. The wicked can never know peace. Chief Akagum, today, all grand pressure group with Ken cannot tell us the truth. Actually, all grand pressure group have the masses at heart for to, for them for them to quell the, the, the evil they joined came to commit. They went and sought out this money. What stopped them not to use that same mind to, to disburse this money, to work in synergy with Ken, or to come out openly, publicly, to say this is this, this is that. Because judgment must definitely come. Judgment must definitely come upon these people. You like the masses, and before you like the masses, the masses have given them so much support. They enjoy the, the the masses so much. And today, all grand pressure group and Ken connect together to place the masses in this situation where we find ourselves. Chief Akogun. Please, sir, I want to urge you, I want to plead with you, I want to beg you to come up this morning again, 
to tell us what you've seen. Otherwise, you may land in your journey like all Grand Pressure Group or a Think Tank that has never seen any money, any document anywhere, but they keep supporting Ken to keep to, to start the masses. If I am lying, uh, uh, Josiah, a king that used to speak, he was from, it is from Josiah, I know that I had that uh, Tintan has go, moved ahead to register. I don't know why they registered uh, the, such organization. They are all in the name of Grant. Josiah may likely come up to make some explanation. He's not a bad man anywhere due to how he presents himself. But you cannot say you are not a, you don't eat you don't eat rat, but you are using your teeth to share rats. You cannot say you are a bad man, but you are seeing evil. Evil is under your blockers, under your nose. You quote all Bibles. You read Bible, you search the Bible, but you cannot search where the Cairns keep a UAS fund. But every time you come to speak as an elder, Chief Akobu, I'm citing and saying all these things for you to learn your lesson and come up to the, to the public space and tell us things you know about this thing as an elder statesman in Grant community. I have so much respect for you. So many mm, masses have so much respect for you. We spoke the other day and uh, you, 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 you spoke very well. There are questions I needed to, uh, there are things I needed to hear from you. But because of one reason or the other, we couldn't get a logical conclusion. So Chief Akobu, evaluate your surroundings and the residents in the grand community and come out as quick as possible to tell the masses the position of UAAG and the position of Ken and all Grand Pleasure Group. Thank you, I Chief. Now, before I go off from here, I know Ken, Chief Akobu, and some other leaders in Grand Community used to make mention of one name, a mother in Grand Community that is not a talking type. That was that is not a talking type. I mean, the lady they called Ion, the woman they called Ion Lady. Please, ma, if this voice note gets to you, I would like you to use a motherly approach and review your surroundings and interface or look for means to prove to Nigerians in grand community that indeed you are a mother. I know you are not a talking type. The talking type I'm talking about, you have not come to public space any day. I don't know who advised the, 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 the barrister that advised you, that gave you that advice. I've not heard your voice in grand community any day saying anything. But this time, if even when you, you don't like coming to public space to give a voice note, please, do something as a mother. Call the old grand pleasure group. Exonerate yourselves. Don't be like that. Act that like that woman that has no portfolio in UAG. Every time you will see you will see her coming and say, "I call my brother." My brother said so. We are. This is national issue and not family on our tribal issue. A young lady, anything you are doing in grand community, have it at the back of your mind that you are serving the nation. It's not all about uh, ethnicity. This is more than ethnicity. So anybody that is involved in this struggle of grant is more than ethnic something. It's national issue. So as such, we should treat as national issue equally. 
So please, a young lady, I was told you settle, uh, Pastor Obi. I don't know the dispute they actually had. I don't know with a uh, high chief Akobo of Grand Community, and I'm yet to know if you must have cited your eyes in any of this document where they said all oh, money where they said the money is there and the money is there according to Ken but today here we are so please ma please ma i don't actually needed to to i don't actually have your direct contact i could have called you i could have called you to speak with you one on one they said they said you are a good mother so please use your motherly uh, presence to help the masses out from this mess thank you ma chief akobo thank you for giving a quick response to my vn now back to the masses the grass the grassroots I want to urge us to keep praying. Look up to God. They cannot eat our pepper, eat our salt. We shelter them and they will turn us down this way. It can never happen. It will boil and boil or turn and overturn and overturn to our own turn, to our direction. It must. I've read a Bible where God asks his angels who will go to such particular king and having his mind to go to war so that he, he God, will take his glory. Those of you that quote Bible to stop the message, you know what I'm, the, the, the story I am trying to make now. The day I sight, I read that portion of the Bible, I, I, I bow down for God the more. God sent his angels, and one of the angels went and had the might of that king. That king went to war and died. That is what is happening in Grand Community. The prayer of the masses has get to, have got to God, and their mind is being added for them to die mysteriously or for them to read the precaution they refuse to learn from what is happening to Theophilus. some of us might be seeing that it was a you it was all grand pressure group that fought the battle it's our prayer it's our prayers i released a vn once uh, last month one man called himself pastor came up to attack me because you are a pastor, you read Bible, you don't know yourself, you lost your senses. You cannot review your, your, your activities that surrounds you. You cannot monitor your environment. Ask yourself and retrace yourself. Because Cain uh, has a very big chain and, um, and uh, uh, tag himself with apostleship means that nobody can correct him or can observe him you come up to observe a man of god according to the title they gave them themselves you address them according to the title they gave to themselves you say you are you are you are insulting a man of god don't you know that that is a word if man of god calls you it will, it will it will disturb you who told you so please the masses let us not relax. Those are few that knows how to pray. Pray. Those are few that have faith in God. Pray. Who knows if it is our prayer that is making all these people to fumble? But the assurance is that is this. In as much as the money is there, it will get to us. The challenge we are having now is between Ken and all grand pleasure group. Greed. This is. They don't have us at heart. If all grand pleasure group have, have us at heart, 
they could have allowed Ken with his dubiosity to pack the money and share with uh, pay the hotel bills and share with Think Tank and give us the 10 10 cover and see how they will utilize it. All Grand Pressure Group could have allowed them if the money, if actually all Grand Pressure Group doesn't have anything in their, in their doesn't have any cockroach in their cupboard. They could have allowed Ken go pack the money, loot the money. Give the masses that have given us all this support and all this uh, uh, money to do all these things. Give them peanuts and see what happened to you. All Grand Pressure Group would have done such thing. But as I speak, I'm suspecting all Grand Pressure Group. They don't have masses at all. Some days back, I, am, I was believing that these guys have masses at all. But up till now, they come up to the public space. They will tell you a different story from what is happening. And for those of us that are privileged to have this information, we are, it's not, we are not in position to come out to say it in the public space like this. This is a national issue we are talking about. Our grand pressure group didn't have at at at. Ken don't, doesn't have at 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 at. So please, the masses, keep praying. Those of you that have different strategies of fighting, keep fighting, but don't take loss into your hands. Thank you. I remain my humble self, a reverse voice. God bless us all. Amen.